So you've just downloaded the Pargolf app and you're ready to play your first round, including your Apple Watch. Pargolf does its tracking in the background, so for the most part, you put it in your pocket or put it in your golf cart and just play golf. When you're about to tee off, go ahead and fire up the Pargolf app on your phone. When the app launches, you'll select play to bring up the course list. Select the course you're playing, set up your round by selecting tee, round type, or adding friends, and hit play to get started. The watch app should automatically fire up and launch into GPS mode. A quick glance confirms that swing detection is armed and we're ready to go. If it's a course I'm not familiar with, I'll often use the phone to drag around and get yardages to different landmarks, using the caddy on the left to select a club. These features are also available on the watch. You can swipe left to right to change screens to look at landmark mode, or swipe to the right to see the caddy, to see plays like distance, a suggested club, and even the current wind conditions. When you're ready, step up to the ball and take as many practice swings as you need. You'll notice when I swing that there's now a blue swing indicator on the tee box, indicating that it's captured that location. It will only record one swing per location unless you confirm multiple swings via the watch interface. When you're ready, stripe it down the fairway. Haptic feedback on the watch, including audio if it is not muted, will indicate that it has detected that swing. You can optionally add additional information to that swing, including club, mental score, and strike. These will unlock additional information after your round, but if you prefer not to interact with your watch after each swing, they can be disabled in the preferences. Pargolf uses sensors on your phone and watch to track you as you play golf. You'll notice the dash line following me as I traverse the golf course. These are the footprints, and they indicate where on the golf course I went. I typically use a laser to fire at the flag, as GPS information has no idea where the flag is. Distances on the watch and phone will be to the front, center, and back of the green. After using my laser, I may use my phone or watch to get additional information, such as the distance to the front or back of the green, or specific distances such as that to carry a bunker. I also sometimes use the caddy mode to see what the plays like distance is and club selection. In this case, it's playing like 71 yards and it's suggesting I use a lob wedge. Again, I'll step up to the ball and take as many practice swings as I need. You'll see that my location is now marked with the blue swing indicator. I simply ignore the haptic feedback for any practice swing, step up, and hit my real golf shot. Between shots, walking to my golf cart or while my partners hit, I'll use my watch to track the additional information, including the club used and the strike quality. The app continues to track me as I traverse the golf course. You'll see me go park the golf cart and then walk up to the putting green. When I get to the green, I'll typically walk up to the hole location to check the grain, but I'll also use the hole button on the watch to mark the flag's location for the day. Make sure to fix any ball marks and be a good golf citizen. I then paste the distance from the hole to my golf ball so that I'll know what to put in as my first putt distance in the app. I go through my putting routine and put a good stroke on it. The swing detection algorithm in Park Golf should also detect most putts. You can optionally log your putt details. This can be disabled in preferences, but I like to track my mental scorecard and which direction I miss with my read. In this case, it was low and left. I'll clean up my par and put the flag back in the hole. To this point, Pargolf has detected three swings, but it doesn't know quite what I scored on the hole as it missed my tap in. By tapping the score button on the phone or watch, with just a few taps I can add the additional information needed. So I log a four, hitting the fairway, and two putted from seven feet. And just like that, my swings are turned into shots, and the shot tracking is complete. All of this information will feed the advanced analytics engine to help you focus your practice and improve faster. And that's how easy it is to track your shots using the Pargolf app and the Apple Watch.